Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm showing you a pen that I got from Caveco for review and this is another of a series of pen that I already reviewed and so I don't think I will take too much time to do it and this is the Caveco Perkeo. Today I reviewed some other versions Today we have the Caveco Perkeo Light Spring. It comes inside this uh, plastic blister and it comes with three blue ink cartridges from Caveco and then it also comes with an empty cartridge inside which is nice to get empty cartridges, at least for me that I usually refill them. And um, another blue one inside. So you get four cartridges, three more out there and an empty one inside. So I think it's quite a good pack. And sometimes not that easy to remove things out of here. Okay, and let's cap the pen so it writes then because it is inked. So the Caveco Perkeo is a pen that is a lightweighted plastic pen made by Caveco, made for student use. This pen has the typical medallion of Caveco on the top and it has the, the facets on the, on the cap and it has eight facets on the cap of the pen. And, oops, and it also, um, it has the double here on the barrel. So, eight facets on the cap, 16 facets on the barrel. The cap is yellow, the barrel is white, but it's not a, a pure white, it's kind of uh, off, off white white. Uh, it has Caveco engraved here. Oh. It's getting hard. Okay, I think you can see there. And it seems to be a different plastic than the regular Cavecos. It has a number 5 Caveco nib, branded with Caveco, and then the F because it's a fine nib. It has a different feed from the regular Caveco because this is quite a longer feed than the Caveco Sport. It has a light grey section two yellow accents and this light grey section with a triangular shape that uh, guides your finger as it is usual to see in uh, student pens. Then you can remove the cartridge, uh, the, the, the barrel that unscrews. You have a light uh, transparent screw there and you have room for one big international um, sized cartridge, one big international sized converter or two short international sized uh, cartridges. So the pen, the cap clicks on place quite snugly and it posts and it posts very well so it's good to write with post-it when post-it it becomes too long in my opinion but you can see the balance is still good because the cap posts securely but it posts deeply and the cap is very very light this is a light pen a simple pen school pen and this is what I had to show you about the pen on the outside. The price for this, I would say little pen, it's not a little pen, it's a full-size pen. For this pen is around 13 euros. It has no clip, just like this. And let's just see some size comparisons. And I'll compare it with the Parker Centennial Dufold, which is something that I usually compare my pens with. Compare it with the Lamy Safari and you can see it is roughly of the same size. When you uncap the pens, you will see that the nib is more similar, not in shape, but in size with the 
uh, Lamy Safari. Um, but, and it has also the same kind of triangular sh section. It's not exactly the same shape, but overall the same. And it has a much smaller nib than the Parker Centennial Bluefold. However, because this one has a shorter section, the overall length is the same. Let's take this out of the way. And you know that I like to make color comparisons. And so that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm not comparing it with a lot of yellow, different yellow pens, but with Kaveco pens to make it more different. And so, first, I've I talked to you about the white. I'm not sure if the exposure of this video is right to show you, but I'll try. Okay, this is the, the white from this light spring, and this is the white from a Caveco. No, I think it's better. From a Caveco Sport Skyline White. And the white from the Caveco Art Sport Alabaster. And the white from, which is the same, from the Perkeo Old Chambray. And with the white, this one, from the Caveco Student 70 Soul, which is more kind, this is more a grayish white, and this is more a kind of, um, I would say, um, ivory white. Let's put it like this, so you can see all the whites. Ah, there's one more. The coconut, the frosted coconut which is also a different one because it is translucent. But now let's compare with the yellows. And I will not, I don't think I'll have room for everything. Let's put it like this to have more room. Quite strange, but maybe this will work. This one is a Caveco student yellow. And you can see it is a different kind of yellow, much brighter. And more saturated, it is quite dull. Uh, something interesting, which is the Caveco Perkeo Indian Summer, which is kind of a mustard yellow, but you, you can see it is more greenish, it looks green when compared to that one. Then, one that is not comparable at all, but it's called yellow, which was, it's not made anymore, the Caveco Ice Sport Yellow, which is more of a fluorescent yellow. Then we have the Sweet Banana Frosted Sport, Art Sport Amacitrine, which is a beautiful, beautiful pen. And then two other pens that I find always interesting. This is the Yellow Sport from Spain, also called Ferrari Yellow or Cab Yellow. And then the the Skyline uh, Sunrise Yellow from Special Edition from Fontoplumo, which is a little more a warmer color. This is more of a cooler tone of yellow. So you can see this is not white and this is not really a bright yellow. It is a color in between, but I think it's quite nice for students in their first uses of fountain pens. So, this is what I had to show you, for 13 euros is quite nice, and when you get the pen, which is something that I always find nice, is that when you get the pen, it is immediately ready to, to write, you just need to replace the empty cartridge for one of the full, and you have three more full ink cartridges, so you can start writing, you can get adapted to the pen, keep writing for some time, and then you just keep buying your cartridges and you you will get uh, used to it. Now let's see how the pen behaves on paper. And here we have our Rhodia pad. And let's see, so this is the Caveco Perkeo Light Spring. 
with a fine steel nib. And I really like this nib, it's quite smooth. The ink is the Caveco Summer Purple, which is interesting, summer, spring, now we need more seasons. And then the paper is the usual, Rodia.pad, which is kind of a good standard paper that you can get easily almost anywhere. And so, this is how this pen writes, and it writes really well. It has a little feedback, maybe you can hear it, it may sound quite exaggerated, like if it was scratchy. It's not scratchy, it just has some feedback, and I would say it, it writes quite a good line. It is maybe a little generous line for a medium for a fine nib but it's not a medium it's more on the fine than the medium but a large fine um, it writes well about the natural line variation you don't really have much unless and this is the fun thing if you rotate the nib just a little bit, in, instead of hitting the paper in the right way, if you just rotate it a little bit, it gets drier on the upstrokes and a little wetter on the downstrokes, and you can see some line variation. But it really doesn't have any line, any natural line variation. So the line is, as you see, if you press hard, you can have some line variation, but you really need to press hard. Because this nib is quite wet, when you press harder, there will be lots of ink and it can start feathering, as you can see there. About the wetness. This is how wet the pen is. Not much, but the ink is not very wet also. If you press it harder, it is much wetter, but because it put more uh, ink on the paper. If you want to write on reverse, it doesn't write, but it's not a problem because because of the triangular grip you cannot hold the pen comfortably in the wrong way, you just need to grab the pen the right way, so that there is no use for that. So, this is a simple school pen, don't expect much from it in terms of uh, very uh, exquisite features, but it works and it works well and so if you want a pen that's comfortable to use and that has a good size and it is inexpensive and if you are in a hurry and you want to go to a store in Europe and, and get it without waiting for a long time for a, an equivalent uh, equivalently priced pen to come from China I think this is a really good option. Uh, if you like great, good, uh, big pens, I think this is perfectly good for long writing sessions, except if you, like me, don't like the triangular grip. I don't like that. I can stand it and I can write with this pen for a while, but I will never choose a triangular pen at least that's what I'm saying now, maybe some years from now I change my mind completely, but now I don't find myself wanting to write for a long time with a pen, with a triangular grip. I prefer to hold the pens more freely. And I noticed, and some of my viewers already told me, that I tend to rotate my pens a little bit when I'm writing, and this doesn't really allow that. As far as I know, the pens of triangular grip, the only one that allows that is the, the Parker 75, which is a nice feature that allows to rotate the nib. But I prefer round uh, sections. Okay, this is all I had to show you. So, once again, thank you, Caveco, for sending the pen for review. Thank you. 
all of you, my viewers, for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you'll be coming back for more. So, see you next video. Bye.